Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to provide the latest requirements for Filipinos and dual citizens traveling to Philippines. Please take note that Filipinos or dual citizens do not need to be vaccinated to enter Philippines. For all Filipino citizens and dual citizens, travel insurance is not required. In addition, your passport do not need to be valid for 6 months at the time of arrival. Also, you don't need a return ticket for 30 days. For all dual citizens, please take note of this important requirement if you have a dual passport when entering. All passengers who use these travel documents upon arrival and were admitted under the same status shall be required to present the same during departure. Accordingly, if you use a travel document, you will also be required to present the above documents during departure. Non-presentation of the required documents shall be a ground for the deferral of your departure. So please take note of this important advisory. For all Filipinos and dual citizens, you actually have two options. The first option is for those who are fully vaccinated. So let me provide all the requirements for those fully vaccinated Filipinos. First, you must register through the One Health Pass. Second, you must provide proof of a vaccination. The third requirement is that you must also present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours or negative antigen test taken within 24 hours. Also, you only need to self-monitor until the seventh day of your arrival. The second option is for those fully vaccinated Filipinos who tested positive. First, you must register through the One Health Pass. Also, you must provide proof of vaccination. And if you are fully recovered with positive RT-PCR or positive antigen test, you must provide this positive test between 10 and 30 days prior to the date and time of departure. In addition, you must also provide a positive RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours or a positive antigen test taken within 24 hours prior to departure from the country of origin. In addition, you must also provide a medical certificate from a licensed physician stating that you have completed the isolation period, no longer infectious, and allowed free movement and travel, and you will only be self-monitoring for seven days. For vaccinated foreign spouse of Filipino, either traveling alone or together, here are the latest travel requirements. And this is effective April 1st. First, you must register through the One Health Pass. Also, you must provide proof of vaccination, and you must provide a negative test within 48 hours or a negative antigen test within 24 hours, and you must have a passport valid for six months and you must have authentic marriage certificate and you will only self-monitor for seven days. For vaccinated foreign child or Filipino child of Filipino parent, children three years and below who are asymptomatic are not required to present a pre-departure negative COVID-19 test result. Children below 12 who are unvaccinated shall follow the quarantine protocols of the parents. Also, for those who are 12 to 17, you will follow your own vaccination classification. And if you are unvaccinated, the parent shall accompany the minor during your facility-based quarantine. Another requirement is that all passengers, including minors, must register through the One Health Pass within three days or on the day of your departure if you already have your negative test result. In addition, you must also present a negative RT-PCR test within 48 hours or negative antigen test within 24 hours for those 4 years and above. If you are a foreign child, you must have a passport valid for at least 6 months at the time of your arrival. And if you are fully vaccinated, you only need to self-monitor for 7 days until the seventh day of your arrival. Also for fully vaccinated, you must comply with the vaccination requirement. You must receive the second dose in a two-dose series or a single dose more than 14 days 
priority of flight. Also, the vaccine must be included in the emergency listing or list of compassionate special permit issued by the Philippine FDA or emergency use listing of the World Health Organization. Let's talk about the proof of vaccination required in the Philippines. You must present an acceptable proof of vaccination and only one is required. World Health Organization ICV or VaxCert PH or National or State Digital Certificate which has accepted VaxCert under reciprocal agreement or other proofs of vaccination permitted by the IATF. For Filipino citizens who are unable to comply with the conditions or requirements, you will be considered as unvaccinated and you will be subject to the entry testing and quarantine protocols for unvaccinated. In addition, you must also undergo facility-based quarantine until the release of your negative RT-PCR test on the fifth day and you will also be required to home quarantine until the 14th day of your arrival. The local government unit will be tasked to monitor those arriving passengers undergoing home quarantine. Here is the latest quarantine requirements for those fully recovered Filipino nationals with positive RT-PCR test results. For those who are vaccinated, there is actually no facility-based quarantine. All you have to do is self-monitor for any sign or symptom for seven days with the first day being the date of arrival and shall be required to report to the local government unit of destination upon the manifestation of symptoms, if any. For unvaccinated, you will be required to quarantine in a facility-based hotel until the release of a negative RT-PCR test taken on the fifth day and you will be required to undergo home quarantine until the 14th day with the date of arrival being the first. Here are the latest COVID isolation rules in the Philippines for both vaccinated or fully vaccinated or partially vaccinated or unvaccinated. So there are two categories. First, quarantine if you are a close contact, 5 days for fully vaccinated and 14 days for partially vaccinated or unvaccinated. Please take note there will be strict observance of health protocols up to 14 days or monitoring up to 14 days. The rules are different if you are COVID positive and you must isolate. Here are the rules for fully vaccinated. First, you must undergo seven days of isolation from onset of symptoms or positive test. If you are partially vaccinated or unvaccinated, it will be 10 days of isolation from onset of symptoms or positive test. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.